What's going on guys? Welcome back to Expeditions Conquistador. Um, we still have a few things left to do in town, so let's... Uh, someone's calling me, that's great, okay. Stop it. Um, trade resources, purchase materials for barricades. <gasps> materials for two barricades will set you back, that is a shitload of money. Haggle. Yeah, I'll do it. Because why not? Uh, see ya. So there you go. Let's talk to this dude, whoever he is. Capitan, to what do I owe the honor? You have me at a disadvantage, senor. Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Fernando Fernandez Luna. A merchant liaison to the Royal, royal Court. We all saw your ship come into the harbor. It's com comforting to have a fresh contingent of noble Spanish Spanish shoulders to protect us from the savages. <clears throat> uh, do you have a lot of problems with savages? Well, they have mostly been compliant. A few tribes still resist our dominion, however. But I'm sure you understand. One never feels safe with such primitives roaming the island. The presence of your troops makes us all more secure. Does Cap Cap Capitan Noriega not have it under control? He does what he can, but he's not as proactive as he used to be. If you ask me, the man has grown soft. The savages need to be ruled with an iron fist. Okay, I'm arranging an expedition to the mainland. Ah, uh, we're sorry to hear that, of course, but that is dead too is a noble pursuit. You seek to conquer new territories for the glory of King Carlos? Uh, yes. Yes, why not? Then I am sure you will. You seem like a very driven young man. If you wish to walk in the footsteps of Felipe Gutierrez, however, do be careful not to end up the same way as him and his expedition. Who the hell's that? He's your predecessor. His was her first expedition to the mainland. Ships left our port with 300 troops around two and a half years ago, but nobody ever returned. What? Okay, well, I'm bringing but a small fraction of the troops he brought. I will not be waging war with that kind of army. Understood. See you, dude. Eat con Dios. So, I don't know what the point of that was, but okay. Let's go over there. Uh, okay, end event. That event was ended. How about this one? End event. So have we really been given a quest that we need to do? Two out of four cairns. Sergeant Luisa Chocero was sent on a patrol into the mountains. Uh, I don't really know which one should we do. Ben of Rebels has been terrorizing the north coast. Santiago. It's northwest of Santo Domingo. I like that one, the medallion. Show the Bible says Santiago. So we have to go to Santiago. That's basically uh, where we're at right now. We just have to go over there. So let's go follow the road and leave this town for what it is. Let's roll, bitches. Do we have enough food? Probably. Who's really worried about food? Let's make camp for the night. Patrol difficulty is low, so we need less patrol and more guard. How about you, girl? Go guard. How, how about that? And then I want her to go guard, guard. He doesn't do anything. Go guard, Jesus. Come on, man. Let's send our super hunter out for hunting. That's what he's doing. And she's not doing anything. How about you go do herbalism or herbalism and get us some, some stuff. And then we have these people patrolling. We have lots of guards. I like it. Everybody gets one ration. Good, good. Tinkering is divided into construction and invention. Okay. Construct traps, assign followers to research. Oops. Um, cost materials. To craft a torch, you need two units of wood and one unit of oil. That makes sense. A follower needs at least one point in tinkering to be able to research new inventions. You got it. A tent. One morale. Ooh. Okay. Uh, extra wood, pickaxe, a cart. Extra movement. I don't know. They're all pretty much equal. Extra metal, extra extra wood, extra morale. Let's go with the, uh, the movement for now. Oh, wait. Did I just assign a random person? Unassigned. Stop that. Let's just set her to her task. Let's not do anything with the tinkering right now. And camp. We gain nine meat. That's pretty nice. I like that. Let's check the map again. We're just following this road north. So, let's just keep doing that. I think we should be safe. Following this this crazy road. It's actually not that long. It looks a lot longer on the map. But it's it's quite fast. 
What the hell is that? Is that a boar? Let's kill it. Come here, boar. You will taste my wrath. Ooh, difficulty's down. Let's assign one guard to go murder stuff instead. Go hunt. Got some food. Gained 10 meat. Kill it. Sweet, 17 meat. That is a crap load of meat. So the next time we camp, we're gonna have lots of people preserve the meat. What is that? What's over there? There's something out there. That's another boar. Kill it. Totally kill it. 19 meat. God. Oh, what the hell? The path you and your company must take today is a particularly rough and trying route. Through dense vegetation and across uneven terrain. You haven't noticed that Mercedes Baliente has been looking particularly fatigued until the scholar suddenly collapses with a pained moan. Your people at the front gather around the unconscious woman and Teresa Sanchez has to push them aside to reach her. Stand back, everyone. Give her the space to breathe. What happened? We were just marching and she just, like, passed out. Okay, it's a very strong fever, but I'm not seeing any, any other symptoms. It's some sort of disease. I can't tell which. Could just be a cold, but either way, it seems she will be out of commission for a while. Okay. So she's sick. We should probably take care of that soon. But, uh, no worries. Ooh, plants. Eat them. Let's make camp on the plant. Difficulty's quite low. Let's have... Okay, so we have one less person to do duty, probably. Moderately diseased. You know what? Oh, she can't do it. I'm a doctor. and she's a doctor. You will go... Uh, we'll treat you. No worries. Do we have enough medicine? Yeah, we have tons of medicine. No worries there. Herbalism, preserving. Two interactions. That's not... I don't like seeing that. Patrol duty is low, so let's actually have them preserve the meat. You know, so we have some extra food. What are you doing? Let's preserve. Okay. Guard duty is medium, so we can just have a, a lot of people preserve, I guess. And one less hunter. You're not that great at hunting anyway, aren't you? You idiot. Preserve. Camp. Uh-oh. No, wait, this is good. Okay. My remaining 36 meat spoils during the night. That is so sucky. But we did create, uh, gain 9 meat, and her condition has improved, so that's great. We're gonna have a, four, uh, a full party again for the next evening, or night. So we should not have to worry about that anymore. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the town. We already reached it. It's so small. I thought it was gonna be a giant... Huge place of awesome. Let's kill the boar. Kill the boar. I command you. Take that boar. Four metal? Okay. That's not bad. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? We can't even reach it. Let's just... Um, you know what? I'm going to set a, uh, some more people to preserving. We don't really... We already have enough meat, so... Hunting, it's not really necessary anymore. Just go and preserve me some sweet meat, and you go guard. Hunt, patrol. Let's set someone to patrol. Lost a little bit of uh, medicine, but we, um, we gain a buttload of rations from all the meat, which is absolutely awesome. So we're in town. We reached it. This Is this really Santiago? It's so small. The market at the center of Santiago de los Caballeros is significantly smaller than the market in Santo Domingo, and mainly dominated by outlets for craftsmen that have shops and workshops around town. Your attention is drawn to a large four-pronged stall in the middle of, in the middle of which stands a short and slender port Portuguese merchant, advertising his goods with the voice of a man a dozen times larger. Fresh fruit, fresh fruit and succulent vegetables, newly harvested from the western plantations, now for sale at prices you won't believe. Rare trinkets from the jungle tribe, specifically purchased to be exported back to Spain. Buy it now before it ships out. Be the first to wear the exquisite fur of these rare jungle cats before the trend-setting noble women in, in the king's court get their hands on them. What's your name? Ah, noble senor. It's always a pleasure to see a distinguished caballero grace the humble cobblestones of our market. My name is Diniz Tavares. How may I sit you on this fine day? What do you sell? Uh, I brought you a shipment of Bibles. And if I, you were promised payment, yes, 1,500 valuables. Uh, 2,000, dude. Ah, of course, you're correct. You had momentarily forgotten the correct sum. Let's see if we can trade something with him. There's a high supply of, of valuables right now, so we might be able to sell some medicine. So 
So one medicine. High demand, low demand. Very high. Medicine is in very high demand. So we could get 10 rations for that. Low supply. We might want to get a few rations. So we, we pay 6 medicine for 10 rations. And we pay 10 rations for 100, for 100 of that. Because it's in high supply. 200 for, for that. 217 valuables for a little bit of, of stuff. Let's actually get a few of them. Because we have a lot of money right now. So who really gives a crap? Um, sell some medicine and get a little bit more. Okay, so we actually have to do this first. So let's trade. There we go. And then we can trade medicine for a few more. Six medicine. And equipment is in normal supply. So we could buy like four equipment. And we did it. Goal completed. The word of God. We totally nailed it. Equipment. Let's take a look. So who has not been equipped? She's got some defense. Which is nice, but still a... Eh. Matchlock, so we put three equipment into that. See, I'm using my doctor every single time, so I'd like to be able to give her an upgrade. Since I'm using her almost exclusively ranged, let's give her some of that. And I guess that makes her a little bit better at using a, a matchlock. Or maybe it's purely for, like, better stuff. I don't really quite get it. Oh, she just does a little bit more damage. But there's still a very low chance of actually hitting. If I do that, it's just a little bit better melee damage. Let's just go with that. You know, that seems nice. Uh, except we don't really need it, do we? There's just such a low chance. Uh, okay, let's see. What else do I use a lot? This guy, obviously. He can, I, we can give us a point so he'll get a longbow. Let's do that. Or is that not fair? There we go. And then we can give him... I feel like we should give some more to a soldier, because there's still a lot of soldiers out there that have absolutely nothing. I want to use Martinez for the next one, so she can we can see her glaive in action. Ortega. There you go, Ortega. You son of a bitch. And we can give him a little bit of defensive stuff. And he can also get a longsword to him. Let's, uh... Do you need to complete it to obtain it, or... I don't really know. Let's just do it like this. This works for me. Let's uh, go into the house so we can find another quest there. You ask an off-duty soldier for Capitan Leandra Biscaino. And she points you to a small house near the center of the town. Knocking on the door yields immediate feedback. Something crashes against the floor, accompanied by indis indis indistinct swearing, followed by calm but heavy footsteps as Leandra comes to the door. She's tall and le is a tall and lean woman with long black hair pulled back from her angular face and tied into a tight ponytail. She regards you with inquisitive eyes that almost crackle with intelligence. Yes, I've been asked to assist you with the rebel problem. The soldier scrutinizes you for a few moments. Yes, our rebel problem. Who are these rebels? Spaniards like us, who have been seduced by the unspoiled rawness of this island. They're convinced that we represent destruction oppression. In their eyes, this jungle is freedom and authenticity, and they have taken it upon themselves to destroy us. They were our own brothers and sisters, but now they are the enemy. They're Spaniards. They were. Come, show me your troops. Let me see how well prepared you are to fight the rebels. Take her. Very impressive. Good discipline. Not the best equipment, but you could do much worse here. Mostly mercenaries, I'm assuming? They are my brothers in arms. I trust them with my life. A single stir nod. I know of a camp in the mount mountains on the Samana Peninsula, across the bay. Couldn't tell you its precise location, but we've seen their fires in the night. It's harsh terrain and there are no native villages there. It must be them. My troops and I will investigate. Buena suerte. Good good travel or something like that? I have no idea. I'm just, you know, totally just going off on a limb here. Leandra turns with the precision of a soldier but the grace of a dancer and walks back towards the town square. She's she's cute. Hopefully we can recruit her sometime. Uh, so it's probably... The, there's another house. Let's go check out that house before we end the video. Who the hell lives here? The house near the pier is a sign outside that says, Fishing nets for sale. Knock on the door. You knock on the door and a one-legged man with unkempt hair and a scruffy beard appears. I don't suppose you're here for fishing nets. In fact, I am, though it's not fish I mean to catch. He shakes your hand and motion motions for you to enter. That kind of fishing. My name is Juan Quintara. Blah, blah, blah. He worked for Noriega. Now he makes nets. Can we use them as traps? I've done that myself with excellent results. Okay. That's pretty steep for a net. Is that what you charge the fishermen? 
I can't spare that kind of money. Have a good day. It's still too steep for me. Okay, sorry about that, but I'm really not going to pay that much money just for that. So I have to go to that peninsula over there. I don't know if we can cross the water, actually. I honestly doubt it. So we would have to walk around the beaches. Let's actually check that out for... Ooh! Herbs! Sweet! We got 11 of them. And we can make medicine. Is it safe to camp on the beach, I wonder? Kill it! Next night, though. Not right now. Patrol difficulty is very, very high, it seems. So let's uh, send everybody out to go patrolling. You can go make me some medicine. She, she, she makes six... That's actually really great. Holy crap. Um, you can go... Since you're a hunter, you are really good at... Hunting. Let's just put you to, to the hunt. I need someone who's really good at patrolling. These guys, the scouts, are really good at patrolling. So let's go do that with you. I'll just send all the scouts out to do that. Do I only have two scouts? I thought I had more. This guy's a scout. That guy's a scout. That's it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, he's really good at guarding. You're kind of good at patrolling, so you can go do that. You are quite good at patrolling. And then you're actually pretty good at guarding. So let's switch it up. It's pretty even this way. I like it. Still have a few people that have no jobs, but they're t this guy's absolutely terrible at most of the things. So let's make him do herbalism. So he can make us four medicine, which is nice. And same for you. Let's go make me some, some beautiful uh, stuff. You can do a little bit of tinkering. Huh. You can make me a barricade if I have rope and wood, which I do, but whatever. Any tasks he would be able to do. See, I like to, to make people go with herbalism and preserving, but he can't really do that, so... What? One ration for all. Still enthusiastic. I'll just make him uh, tinker up a uh, cart. Or a tent. Start with a cart, why not? Who will make me a cart? You silly men. Actually, this guy might be a pretty good tinkerer. But we wouldn't get as much... Does anyone have very high tinkering? The highest I have is four, I think, and that's the, uh, the scholars. Ooh, she's amazing at tinkering. Oh, wait, tinkering is the last one, so the scholars are the best at tinkering. You know what, you go and, uh, on a sign, you are an idiot, so you can go make me... That doesn't hurry it up. Why not? I thought I'd go faster if someone had a higher skill, but I guess not. So much for that, then. Let's camp. Gained one meat. Your guards failed to notice that some of your servants took medicine off the carts in the night. So lost nine medicine. You kidding me? But people still process processed 14 herbs into medicine, so it's still quite nice. Uh, kill the boar. Bring me my meat. Let's get that metal over there. Num num num. Chart the coast. This is a goal now? Discovered one out of eight cairns. Oh, I thought it was fucking metal, but it's not. Get some herbs so we can make some more medicine out of that and sell it. And camp again. Same. Let's just go with the same setup because why not? Lost four rations. Wild animals. Come on. Meager catch. We got two meat. Could have gone worse, though. Could have gone a lot worse. We are getting close. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and actually end it right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be back in the next part, and we're going to go look for the rebels that are holed up over there. I think this, this game is actually a lot bigger than it may look right now, but uh, we'll see about that in the next part. Thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later.